Now, there are two life-changing moments. England, uh, England men's potentially win... I keep saying potentially, but... No, England no, just keep saying potentially. A potentially winning That's a okay. major football tournament for the first time since 1966 and marrying the love of your life. Oh, so what do you do if both events fall on the same day? That's a predicament for many couples ahead of this Sunday's match. Yeah, today we're joined by two couples due to get married on Sunday. Uh, we speak to Jen and Rob in a moment, but first let's speak to Emily and Dan. Emily and Dan, congratulations, Hello, Emily. Thank guys. You, congratulations. Oh, thank you very much. <laughs> thank you. Uh, you. You must have. When, when did you actually find out that your wedding was on the day? Who who brought it to your attention? It was Dan's little brother. Yeah. My little brother, John T, um, he, he let us know that we'd booked our wedding on the uh, on the Euro final day. So um, Emily wasn't particularly too happy with that at, at the time. But I, I reassured her that we'd come up against a good um, a good French team or someone like that and we wouldn't be there. But here we are now <laughs> watching there. That's, uh, that's the thing. Little does we know. At yeah. the start of the tournament, you're actually thinking, well, I mean, they're not playing particularly well and, like, you know, everyone's getting on their backs and you probably yeah. thought they weren't going to make it to the final. And then, so you must be, like, some of the only people in the country that weren't cheering for them to get to the final. <laughs> we were cheering a lot at the semi-finals, but like I didn't even like the way we were we've been playing. I didn't think we would get to the semi-finals, and then we got to the semi-finals, and it was like, oh, we're against the Netherlands, and then we we were cheering a lot, and then it was yeah. like, ah, it's our wedding day. Yeah, yeah, yeah. <laughs> and you've decided, you know what? We're going to still have our wedding day and we're going to do it our way. And not only that, we're going to have our first dance. Bold. At 8 pm. Kick off. <laughs> Bold That's move. when we're having our first dance. <laughs> yeah, yeah. I mean, look, we're, we're, so, we're so thrilled and excited for the day. We've got so many friends and family coming. Yeah. Um, so, and I just, it's going to be the best day of my life, Marin. This beautiful woman. <laughs> so, you know, we can celebrate on Monday when we bring it home. This guy! <laughs> huh? Oh, now, I love so that. So are there going to be any nods? Because obviously you can't, re you can't rearrange your wedding. So no. are there going to be any nods to the football during the wedding? I mean, how are you going to keep all those puppies in the basket? Like, how are you going to keep the focus yeah. of everyone there? So I think at, like, when Watkins scored, the amount of messages I got saying, um, are you going to put a screen on? Are there going to be screens at your wedding? So <laughs> we've decided not to go for screens, but we'll get the DJ to announce when England have scored. Maybe not when Spain have scored, but <laughs> just when England, <laughs> just when England are winning. <laughs> oh, that's all right, isn't yeah. it? But, but, I mean, at the end of the day, everyone has phones also, nowadays. I totally get it. Could you imagine? You've literally spent. Like the last, like probably half a year, yeah. year organising your wedding at the last minute. Someone's like, you got a big screen with the football on. You'd be like, no. I have seen it at a wedding before. I have seen a screen at a wedding before. Yeah. And all the men were watching the football and all the women were on the dance floor yeah. having a great time. Yeah. We weren't bothered at all. Well, guys, listen, we wish you all yeah, the best, best on luck. Sunday. We're so excited oh, about your you wedding. So Lovely thank chatting you. to you. <laughs> Lovely chatting to you. We're going to go across now to Jen and Rob, who have decided to actually totally embrace the Euros <laughs> at their wedding. Good morning to both of you and congratulations. <laughs> Thank, Thank you. you. Uh, have you gone as far, Jen, as to say, you know what, I'm going to wear an England kit instead of a white dress? I was very tempted to have one of those reveals like they do with Marvel, but I wasn't allowed. <laughs> <laughs> that would have been so much fun. You two are big football fans, aren't you? Big Newcastle fans. You, so, you, you know, you love your football already, so it's less of a stretch for you to properly get involved with the football, I guess. So the, the closer that it looked like we were going to the final, the more that we were looking like the cancellation <laughs> terms and conditions of the wedding. Um, we considered like getting married in the afternoon and like hopping on a flight over to Berlin, but it didn't work out. So. Wow, that's, that's commitment. <laughs> that is commitment. So tell us some of the things that you're going to embrace at your wedding. Are you going to have a screen? Absolutely, yeah. absolutely. We've um, got big two. Screen, yeah. Um, well, you don't want all the guests just having a peek down at the phone um, during your first dance to to look at the score. So, yeah, first dance has moved to half time, half -time. as well. <laughs> Very good. Such a good idea. And guys, you've also got. Is the vicar getting involved? What's he? What's he or she doing? Yeah. So we have the most amazing vicar, and I promised to give him a shout out. It's Reverend Daniel Ackley. Um, he's actually recorded "It's Coming Home" on the organ, <laughs> and it sounds incredible. <laughs> <laughs> so that's, going to be that's brilliant. Are you um, having fireworks as well at the end of the night? I think you're having fireworks, aren't you? 
Yes. So again, the fireworks company have very kindly said that they can time the fireworks for full time whistle and do it to like we are the champions, sweet Caroline, if we win. Um, and maybe delay them a bit if it doesn't come home, but it will. So. And have you got face painting? I've heard you've got face painting lions come in. Two, but yes. not real, not uh, real lions. One of my... <laughs> We've got more than three. Um, <laughs> one of my wonderful colleagues, um, his daughter was actually doing the face painting. So after the first dance, we'll have like England flags all over. Nice. Oh, I love the fact that you're embracing it. This is going to be so much I fun. love the football, aren't they? They do, they do. Well, listen, congratulations, good luck. Have you thought about if it doesn't go our way, the atmosphere of the wedding, is that going to change a little bit, do you think? Well, my only prayer is that it doesn't go at penalties because I don't think we could we could take that. But uh, no, it's coming home. Yeah, it's going to set the tone for the marriage, really. <laughs> yeah, it's coming home. It's coming home. Is it, uh, is it kind of a nice distraction as well? Because obviously gearing up for a wedding is quite a stressful experience. You know, you've got a lot yes, to plan like, and so forth. So is it kind of nice to have that bubbling away in the background? I think a lot of people kind of think, oh, no, like, the Euros is on our wedding day. But for us, it's like, oh, damn, our wedding day is on the Euros. So... <laughs> oh, I'm so excited for you. Just have the most wonderful day. Enjoy it. And hopefully we will bring it home. Yeah, congratulations, hopefully we will bring Jen it home. Rob. Yeah, congratulations. Thanks for joining us, Thank Jen and Rob, and also Emily and Dan. Thank you so much for joining us. Have the best day ever. Yeah. Oh, thank you. Nice. Thank you. Oh, lovely. So uh, thank you so much for visiting our This Morning YouTube channel. Uh, we upload new content every single day, so go ahead and hit that subscribe button and we'll see you in the morning.